As the offspring once sang, you've got to keep them separated. They were talking about batteries, of course, and if you're running a secondary battery for your audio system, adding an isolator can be a great idea, particularly if you plan on operating your system without the engine running. Without an isolator, you risk failure of your vehicle's electrical system due to drained battery, and you will be unable to start your car. An isolator simply allows you to completely discharge one battery without discharging the other. By allowing the audio system to draw from one battery at a time, we can save the primary starting battery for the vehicle's vital electrical components, ensuring they will have a constant source of power to keep everything functioning properly. Also, by preventing full discharge of the secondary batteries, you can actually increase their lifespan. There are two types of battery isolators. A solenoid or relay type isolator uses a few electrical relays to direct the flow of the electrical current. These relays work together to send the charging current from the alternator directly to the idle batteries. Solenoid isolators tend to be much less expensive than diode based and they don't really negatively impact the voltage or flow of current. However, since they contain a number of switches, they are more likely to require replacement or maintenance after a few years of use. Diode based isolators are much simpler in construction. They feature two high current diodes which basically allow current to flow to the battery from the alternator but do not allow power to flow between the two batteries. This allows for true isolation of the batteries as each battery will only be able to power components connected directly to it. This can actually be a drawback as in the event that the starting battery is fully depleted you cannot use the secondary battery to start the car but it's pretty simple to avoid that problem with proper power setup. While these isolators are more durable and reliable they will cause a voltage drop of up to 0.4 to 0.6 volts. This may not be a huge factor in the performance of your audio system but it is a noteworthy drop as it reduces the maximum voltage the batteries can be charged to. Isolators are rated by the amount of current transfer they're capable of handling. A good rule of thumb is to calculate the total RMS wattage of your system and just drop the zero. If you're in between sizes, it is always a good idea to choose the larger isolator to prevent damage. Hooking up a battery isolator is actually extremely simple. For solenoid or relay type isolators, choose one of these smaller terminals to connect to ground and connect the other to a high amperage remote turn on lead or ignition wire. Then connect each of these larger terminals to your batteries. For diode type isolators it's even more straightforward. Just connect the center terminal to your alternator and connect one of the side terminals to each of your batteries. So whether you're tailgating, parking lot pimping, or you just like to shut off your car and enjoy your music, a battery isolator can save you time, trouble, and a phone call to AAA. For all of your battery and battery isolator needs, remember to shop www.sonicelectronics.com. What did the procrastinating seamstress say to the battery? Isolator.